My friends, today we got a fun one here as we close out a chapter for us in Cookie Run Kingdom, all about the tropical soda islands here today. We have our very, 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 very last one to claim, and we're going to talk about a couple things in today's guide, how you can quickly get through this, and additionally, how long it took me to close out the tropical soda islands. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe. On top of that, if you have a question, if you got a comment, let me know because I love to hear from you as always. And feel free to join us in our amazing community and Discord server, my friends. So a couple of things about tropical soda islands first here. This is all the stuff that you need to know. On the islands, you will battle fearsome pirates, find great treasures and help those in need, explore new regions using map fragments and caramel spy glasses. So those are the two currencies that are needed needed or special things needed to unlock these territories. The more we unlock, the stronger the foes become. Fight pirates to liberate villages they capture. Now, liberated village rewards, you can claim them uh, every once in a while. Once uh, a reward become available, the next reward ship will require eight hours to reach. It's a great thing to clean out, particularly as a free-to-play player like myself. The stronger the pirates, the greater rewards you can claim. Try to liberate as many as you can. Recapturing of liberated villages. Yes, once they're liberated, a village can be recaptured. Um, a recaptured village will no longer provide its rewards. So to keep receiving them, you got to keep liberating. Battling in the tropical soda islands, your battle progress is saved, which means that if you lose a battle, you'll be able to pick up where you left off. However, the region will not be saved if you give up or quit the game during a battle. Last but not least, we have sunbeds. If a cookie gets defeated in the tropical soda island battle, they will be moved to a sunbed to dry up. Up to five cookies can use those sunbeds at a time. If a sunbed are occupied, cookies will have to wait for their turn to use a sunbed. Cookies using sunbeds can't participate in battles um, in this tropical soda islands. Now, a lot of this stuff for newer players is certainly used early in the game. Um, so that's very, very important there to understand and see. Here you go, we got our islands, we got our sunbeds right here. No one's on the sunbed. We got 126 that we can use. Um, just wanted to run through that so that you can see exactly some of the key pieces here on the tropical soda islands in terms of an overview. Look at this, we got so many territories. I think it's like some 200, 300, something crazy like that. And each one that you kind of, as you expand, you'll hit these things here, the Rainbow Soda Islands, and then you'll see more and more and more of them, or at least they'll get unlocked uh, kind of a thing. So um, very, very important there. And as you scale, the investment and requirements become much, much more. Um, so example, when you get to Islands Unlocked, which is 12, um, you can get, well, at least 10, you're gonna be at 160 fragments of each and it takes three days to do each one. I think it's five towards the end, um, and it's some like 300 plus uh, requirements, which is huge, huge, huge here in the soda beds. Now, you'll also get these different types of islands, um, coconut islands, mangosteen islands, pineapple islands. Um, you also have what are uh, watermelon islands, and each of these produce different resources, jellies, stamina, um, all kinds of things like coins to give you great, great rewards. Absolutely make sure that you do focus on this, clean it out. It's a nice little thing here as well. And then you can go here and see, we've liberated a hundred villages, so a hundred villages, um, and we get coins, experience, crystals, and stamina, exactly what it is every hour, and we can claim every eight. So amazing, amazing rewards there. Um, all that you have to do is put the time in, clear this stuff, um, and then on top of that, you get some great rewards per area as you continue to move forward on these things. So that is a high level kind of overview um, and some of the details around the tropical soda islands. If you're looking to get more of those fragments, there are uh, a couple ways to do that. Um, the way you can get them, it's a sea rarity to explore the tropical soda islands. Um, you can get them from the Rainbow Shell Gallery, the Seaside Market, and Tooks Trade Harbor, and the Tropical Soda Islands. So as you clear some of these places, they'll give you some additionally. Um, and, and when you go back and you get you have to re-liberate, they'll give you those pieces. Now, if you're curious on where to get them elsewhere, we go back to your kingdom. Um, as an example, over here, when we go to the Trade Harbor, um, Tooks Trade Harbor, you can go to the Seaside Market here and make some of these changes right here. That's one way to quickly level up and uh, utilize and close out these Sea Harbor, um, the tropical soda islands. So then once you get enough, you got to go back here. You got to you pick it out, you wait. And like me, we're going to go ahead and claim our very, very last one. It's been an incredible run. 
And there we have it. What could be in this chest? What do you think? A billion dollars. And there you have it. 1,000 crystals Ooh, and a bunch of other stuff. Now, that reward, if you really think about how much time I put into it, probably not worth it. However, you should do this. I absolutely recommend it. And to close that out, it took me about two, two and a half years to get that very, 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 very last item. So, and island and cloud spot cleaned off the lovely tropical soda islands. So that, my friends, is all she wrote. Like I said, some closure to a very important piece here for us in Cookie Run Kingdom is the tropical soda islands. I strongly recommend that you work on these, particularly like me as a free-to-play player. You get some great rewards here that you can take advantage of um, and utilize specifically to improve your account, your team, all that fun stuff. And with that, thank you for tuning in. If you still got a question, if you got a comment, certainly let me know. I love to hear from you as always. We broke down the tropical soda islands. We gave you some tips and tricks. We said how long this took us as a free-to-play player now that was no speed ups any of that stuff certainly something that you can use as well so with that thank you for tuning in today i appreciate your support thank you for the likes and the subs as we continue to grow this amazing community here as always and thank you to all of our members i appreciate uh that support additionally we have memberships available to you along with our affiliate links and swag and merch and all that stuff uh, check it out. I appreciate it. Um, don't forget our socials at me, chat me, stay connected. We might feature your stuff here on the channel um, because that's what I love doing. Uh, with that, my friends, get out there. We got a lot of islands to unlock. Well, at least I'm going to be milking in my, soaking in my rewards, maybe on that sun bath uh, bed. Um, anyway, with that, best of luck, my friends. Keep on running.